Hey guys, today I'm playing some more City Skylines, and we got shit to do, I bet. Um, although I say that every episode, and, you know, we rarely do stuff. I was thinking I'd just get, uh, I'd just put this whole motorway underground at some point. I mean, I don't see how there would be a problem. I mean, yeah, it would be kind of relatively hard to see if there was, like, a traffic problem. But, you know, wow, this is getting, these frame rates are just falling away right now. <laughs> but, you know, that's gonna happen. Alright, where was I going to put my new shopping district? That was going to be here, right? The big one. The big old, big shopping district. Big, big S. Because I was going to start putting big houses up here again. So this is kind of an enclosed suburb, I guess. Because there's nowhere else for me to put big buildings anymore. And I can't just make suburbs and shit now. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to see if I can get people coming to shop over here because that would be good. It's going to need power, obviously. Um, so let's just throw it some power. Probably going to need water. I didn't really do that that well last episode. Um, I think I threatened to kill someone when they asked for water. I don't know. I, you know, I'm. sometimes I say things that make me sound like a murderer. Like, that bitch had it coming or something like that. I, I don't know, man. Either way, um... Don't ask your mayor for things. Y yeah. <laughs> We've had bad politicians in this country, but none so bad as tape gaming. Oh, I never came up with a fake name, name name, mayor name for myself. Oh wow, people straight up, they want shops so much they'll come all the way over here. Yeah, I think I'm also gonna just kind of trail this off over there. Where is the oil? Okay, not here. So I am actually going to, like, trail this out this way, so that the suburbs aren't totally enclosed. But I like the idea of suburbs on the edge of town. Oh, you're the son of a bitch with that water. Wow, unlucky, the tiny intersection. <laughs> you dumb son of a whore. Okay. May oh, maybe it's just... Oh no, there is water availability. Maybe the systems aren't linked up. <laughs> Who knows at this point? I mean, this system is so fucking complicated. Yeah, so, plan. Um, this is going to be all just high-density housing uh, up until about here-ish. And then this is going to be high-density shopping maybe around there as well. And then this kind of housing district is going to spread out through and down here, I think. So it's not, like, totally enclosed within the city. Because I like the idea, as I've said, of, like, um... Although, you know, you get... I don't know, it looks too suburban. I don't know, who, I, I, I just like things to look relatively real, but you get small houses, I mean, the problem is all of this is just I don't see housing now. But this could be kind of like, almost like the outer bit that's like a mix, like you get, you get places like that, I don't know, I don't know how cities are made, how cities are structured. Okay, we got problems over here. No one wants to drive this far to get to work. They all want to come work here, except they don't, which is a serious problem. Wow, this is a standstill in traffic. I can't tell if the traffic stood still or if it's my frame rate, but yeah. Okay, anyway. We have expansion over here to do. Alright, wow, people really want this. Okay, let's just keep just adding shops. Just... Okay, let's not go that crazy straight away. Just be reasonable. Just be reasonable, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. I got a family. Okay. Alright, and then, oh yeah, this is gonna need cops. It's gonna need anti-fire people. Fire defense, fire stoppers. Fire, not lighters, but something that rhymes with that word. Fire against, against fi fire, I don't know. What would you call someone who, like, fights fire? <laughs> anyway. Gotta make yourself laugh, you know? Ah, fuck. I hate you. I, you are the... Worst part of my day. Wow, that speaks to how fantastic things are going right now. If that's the worst part of my day. Oh, anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just read the news. Peter Taylor was shot on his way to work. <laughs> it's like, wow, that was not the worst part of his day. 
I don't know why I'm laughing, that would be horrible. I don't want to be shot. I like my bulletless body. How are you guys doing? Recover from all that medical issues? Where's the sports car, man? Hatchback, you little bitch! We could probably use some of that power. I mean, we'd. You know what? It's probably about time I put down another solar plant. Where shall I put it, do you suppose? Well, this service road's supposed to loop around, so I guess I'll just put it here. Yeah, this island is just kind of all that other stuff, like a bus station, a space elevator. Um, <laughs> I probably should have put this somewhere cooler, but, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is, yeah, there's the power place, the space elevator place. This is all looking quite nice now that it's got not so much stuff all around it. It used to be packed with tons of crap, but, uh, where the hell did I put the train? Oh yeah, I moved it there. Okay. Alright, let's just get this... What? Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, so what, I can pick it there then? Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Ah, oh, that's actually not perfect. But, you know, what? what's perfect in this city? I think that went out the window like episode 3. I can't believe how far this has gone now. I think this is like episode 30 right now. Like, I remember starting this, and because, like, um, like, none of my other Let's Plays had ever kind of stayed, I'd never wanted to do them for that long, and they'd never gotten enough views for me to do them for that long, but hey, 30, this is my second longest running series ever, only beaten out by one KSP series called Solar Civilization, which was fucking epic, and then, you know, it's KSP, so, and it was modded KSP, so it... Eventually just kind of dies, which is sad, but you know shit happens uh, Is there a better way I could be doing this because like I guess like because I kind of I get the idea that I could just throw that right off there Maybe this should be a thicker road like not no It's because they can go fast down it, and it's not like there's a traffic jam here. I Mean the traffic on here is not that it's just slow. There's not loads of it. It's just quite slow Uh. I'm actually going to get rid of this real quick because there's not enough workers here, so there shouldn't be so many buildings. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that'll help, and we'll keep doing it. Okay, anywhere I can put more just like houses down here, because I was trying to make this kind of work better. You know, this has gotten nicer. I could do something with this, but I don't really know what I would do. It's just always just going to be incinerators. How's garbage collection in this town? Because I haven't improved it for a long time. Where's that button? There it is. Cosmos without hatred. Oh, God. I've got that song from Brick and Morty stuck in my head. You know the one where they find that random gaseous thing? And then... Oh, he, the songs he sings, man. They're so nice. Uh, yeah, if you're interested, watch Rick and Morty, or look up Rick and Morty Moon Men, and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just a nice song about, you know, peace and shit. Although, he was going to kind of kill everyone to make that peace happen, but, uh, you know, just watch the episode. It's on Adult Swim, if you haven't watched it. I imagine ever most people have watched it now. I mean, people are raving about it, and it's pretty good. It's really good. It's just, it's just, I don't know, it's pretty... It's kind of hard to explain why it's good, but it's just one of those things that's kind of perfectly random. Just kind of, there's no real set in a thing, and because of the nature of the storyline, I guess, every, just like anything can happen. Just crazy shit. That's why American Dad works better than Family Guy, because there's more interesting, um, there's characters with more interesting, like, stories. Like, Stan's a CIA agent, so there's tons of, like, terrorist shit that can go down, or Roger's a fucking alien, so there's all that shit that can happen. Um, so yeah! I uh, don't know why that came up, but that's one of the things I think about when people make TV shows, is you've got to start with something interesting. Like, Family Guy was just a basic family, and that was good, but now we're 13 series in, and what can you really do with a basic, kind of, dysfunctional family after this? I mean, come on. Anyway. I just, just start working here, guys. There's so much good work over here. You just gotta drive for a while. You got a problem? Is anyone actually still producing ore? Because that's probably a huge mistake at this point. What are you producing? What are you making? You making ore? I don't need ore. I need standard industry. 
I don't think this actually is. Oh no, it's ore. Okay, fuck you. You're making normal shit now. No one wants to work there. And, um, shit, just get out of this. Okay. Right, we'll just let that build up. And if we need more ore, we'll get it. But I don't think we do. It's a shame because all of this is so packed with ore, and this has trees now. But all of those resources have kind of been dealt with, and I don't really need all this land anymore. Which kind of calls into question if I'm ever actually going to take the oil out of there. Uh, I need more people here. There's nothing attracting people to here. That's why it would be good to put industry here. Because people will come here for work, because now everyone wants to live. Hmm. Maybe I should redesign this road. Have like a big in the ocean roundabout. Oh yeah, that could be wor that could be useful actually. Just make because I think this kind of place is there's no jobs over here other than I guess in shops. Maybe I should put offices more places. Well, I've already got a great office district. Yeah, I know crossroads are a problem and the traffic here is horrible. That it's the main road in the city. Of course, traffic's going to be bad. There's just some realities you have to live with. You know what? Yeah. Um, I think it's time I tackled this motorway. I don't think it's very good, basically. Other than this bit. This is perfect. But, you know. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was like a little band-aid I put on just to help traffic move along. It's not so much that these roads don't work. It's just it's only accessible from... It's not very accessible from everywhere. It needs to be more accessible. And should probably all just be a bridge, because why would I waste this land on roads? Alright, this is going to be a pretty serious redesign. I don't have an idea in mind, so it's not going to be very good, but uh... You know what they say, sometimes you just got to do stuff without thinking. That's how to design a city. London wasn't designed by thinkers. It was designed by doers. And Freemasons. Uh, <laughs> probably, well, I mean, that's just logic, but, you know, a lot of things that come with being a Freemason. Uh, Alright, we need a big, giant, middle roundabout, maybe? Just some, some central road hub. Maybe this. No, that's absolutely not what I want. Maybe these should be more linked. Yeah, maybe. No, I like the idea of the motorway just coming down. But, ah. Uh, maybe there should be just multiple roads leading in? Uh, I don't know how I want to do this. I don't really know what I want to do. I think all of that was a mistake. Why did I delete all of that? No, 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 no. I just need to make it more, like, accessible to... Ooh, I know where the roundabout should be. It should be here. Uh, but not for the motorway. Maybe it should be for the motorway. Maybe the motorway should join... Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm thinking. Someone else should join the motorway in the ocean. Okay, this probably makes no sense to anyone right now. I'm just thinking what I'm actually wanting to do. Because I deleted everything before I made a plan. <laughs> Seriously, why am I a mayor? There we go. And there'll be like some sort of on-road here, I guess. From here, just to make it more accessible, because there's going to be quite a lot of stuff around here now. It'll just be easier to access. Access. Access? Jesus Christ. My words are falling apart today. There we go. That's just perfect. Now, ah, oh, dicks. Ooh, plan! Okay, this is actually the wrong junction now, because... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I need to go down that way, so it would just make sense to have the really big junction. Although I really like this junction. It did, yeah. It just makes sense to have the other one. The one I used over at the start of the city. So, yeah, okay. Fucking delete, you bitch. I'm like a fucking crazy Cyberman mare. Deleting everything. 
Okay, alright. Cybermen couldn't do what I do. They don't know. They don't know shit. Deleting fuck shit they're all over the place. Fuck they think they are. Okay, alright. Wow, this just got simpler. Yeah, like, now it's just... On, off. No crazy amount of off ramps, just if you... Ah, oh, this is goddamn perfect. I'm a goddamn genius. Okay, well, shit. Turn the arrows on. Okay, good. This is exactly... Of course it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this has does have to curve around a bit. And then just goes into there. Like this. Because I obviously want to utilize all of this land. As much as possible. Because got to get all the money. More money, more problems. Uh, and then I guess just lead this off. I actually don't want those suspension bits, even though I usually love them. I think it just ruins the whole kind of sleekness of this crazy bullshit design of a city. I think that's actually better. It's just way more flowing now. There's no crazy off-ramp system. Um, I mean, there'll probably be a little bit of a crazy off-ramp system here, and I'm going to keep this because this works and no one's working here anyway, so who gives a fuck? <laughs> you should give a fuck, Peter. The whole point of this was to... Oh, yeah. i got to stop... Just have like two. No, I'm gonna have a roundabout. An on the ocean roundabout. Ah, slightly twisted at the last second. Yeah, this is coming together. Just crazy ocean roads. Mad Max Ocean Road. Oh my god, I love Mad Max. Uh, oh, the game came out as well. Apparently, it's not very good. Well,. I mean, compared to the film, I guess. I mean, could it possibly be good compared to the film? Well, no, apparently it's mediocre. Mediocre! Ah, oh, of course. Okay, now I get what that guy said! Uh, but who killed the world? I really want to know. That's the thing about my Max, is it doesn't really give you any backstory. But you really want to know who killed the world. Although you can kind of infer. I mean, that's the point, is it's just not like... It's just not relevant. I mean, it's probably cool, but it's not relevant to the action film. So they didn't bother telling you, which is good. Ah. Ah, one has suspension. Everything else, no suspension. You son of a bitch! All right. I'm actually liking this. I actually kind of started off thinking this might be pointless, but uh, you know what? Worked out pretty well. Can't complain. Well, I can complain. I mean, that I like I, I, complaining's fun, but I shouldn't complain. All right, this is going perfectly well, which is surprising given that I'm designing it. Oh, I should probably upgrade all of this, huh? Oh, this is already. Oh. Oh, I see. That's, uh, that's real good. It's, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty, uh, pretty good. Oh, yeah, that'll make sense. Oh, stupid. Stupid kinky road. <laughs> stupid sexy Flanders. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty, Roo. Okay, now I've just got to off-ramp this again. Uh, how will I do that? Just standardly? I guess. Make proper junctions, I guess. Maybe just do this. Yeah, maybe not... Just don't half-ass anything with, like, a bunch of off-ramps. Have proper fucking junk... Pre-made junctions. Yeah, shit, okay. First time ever, I'm not gonna half-ass anything. Well, I'm sure I'll half-ass some... What is that? Ah, oh, fuck, is there a train not... That was just a random... What? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just how the little bits, like, change and spawn out. I would... See, why is that there? It's because it's there. Weird glitches. Weird glitches. Yeah. Okay, right, so... Hmm. 
This is going to be, okay, actually less problematic if I do it like this. And will work. Because I said so. <laughs> It'll work because I said it will work. And because I'm Batman. Obviously. I mean, I'm not Batman. You're, you're Batman. I'm just normal, rich guy who disappears at night and has a tank car. And, you know. You know. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Not Batman. <laughs> Bruce, we know you're Batman. What? What? What are you talking about? I'm not. Okay, I'm Batman. Ugh. Ugh, you fucking... There we go. There we go. That's gonna be easy to drive on. You know what? It, it, you should just be happy that you can drive on it at all. I mean... It's a freaking road on the ocean. It's a fury road. Ha uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, Fury, uh -huh, I said the thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, things. And then this can just be mowed away again. There we go. That's not very good. But still, that's actually pretty good. Like, in general. T shit, tons of drunk. This one's fine. I actually think this is a decent junction, so I'm going to leave that. Um... But yeah, fuck. Now I've just got to link this up and basically all I wanted, all I really did, right, is added a way to get from here to here more easily. Which is, you know, that's good, but uh, it, it was a lot of work for, long walk for a short drink of water, really. <laughs> Alright, let's just go right out of this. Will that put too much stress on these suburb roads? Because if it will, I'm not going to... Not a lot else I can do, though. I mean, I could do it from this junction. That might be less intrusive. Yeah, probably. I just don't want to have hundreds of people driving through these nice little cute suburbs. Ah, oh, dicks. There we go. Oh, fuck off, suspension. No one likes you. There we go. That road. No, I'm going to put a few more in as well, I think, actually. Probably one from here. I've just gone crazy with ocean roads. I freaking love it. I fucking love it. I fucking love it, oh fan. Uh, okay, let's just fill this in. Okay. Apparently I've missed tons of little squares. <laughs> Silly me. Silly me. But anyway, basically I'm hoping that'll bring more people up to here. And give more jobs for people down here so they'll move in. It's basically the two places I don't have enough stuff. Ooh! Ooh! Fuck, high density. <laughs> Build shops there. I've solved a lot of problems today, actually. <laughs> like, I've, I've done some actual... I've actually solved, for the, like, the first time in five episodes, I've actually solved problems. Like, I'm actually moving people in here. Well, these people aren't moving in because they're but. Oh, they're not moving in there because because of that. That was probably my fault because they literally couldn't. Anywhere else like that that I've just like missed the bits near the road? Well, just keep moving in, I guess. How's education? Pretty bad. Pretty a uh, bad. <laughs> you say that weirdly proudly, sir. Quieten down. I'm the mayor of this goddamn town. I'll tell you how to feel. You will listen to me. Sir, I'm afraid you continually go mad with power. Oh, yeah, I guess I do do that a lot. I'm also afraid that you just said doo doo. <gasps> uh, okay, let's just loop this around. Gotta have bus routes, gotta get to. Fah! Gotta get too far. Yeah, I gotta get to school. Gotta get to. Gotta go learn shit. Or you know, kind of learn stuff. Cause learn how to learn. I think is what school really is. Just learning how to learn. Cause I mean, what do you really remember from your physics class last year? 
What do, I mean, what what do you really remember? Do you remember the general gist of how the physics works, or do you remember the actual facts? It's the gist. It's what it really is. And do you understand systems and things a little better after physics? And do you understand other things a little better? Yeah, it's all just about uh, <laughs> learning to not be an animal. I watched a thing about what education really does. By watched, I mean listen to CPG Grey talk. And CPG Grey is God, so, you know. CPG? No, CGP. I always say CPG. Hmm. Maybe I should look at that in myself. Alright. More schools, less problems. How is education? I think pretty good, other, in, other than in the newer districts. Other, other than in District 13. Oh, God. I hate that film so much. It's just a bad film. I mean, I'm sure the books are great, but, like, lots of offense to everybody who likes the Hunger Games. It's just, they're not very good. <laughs> I mean, they're just, just not. It's just aren't very good films. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, let's sidestep this landmine. Uh, have a direct route out, maybe. Yeah, maybe just, like, to that place that's already... Shit, I bet there's a lot of people who could actually benefit from just getting right onto the motorway here. I know it's a little dumb, but... Why not just... Like, I bet a lot of these people actually just want to go up here. I mean, that's what the majority of these people are doing, so... That's going to be a quicker way out for a lot of people. There's no traffic on this bit. Although maybe if they really wanted... Like, this is working quite well. Like, a lot of people are flowing out of there. So, yeah, see, it's already probably just going to reduce this traffic quite nicely. Good job, me. Solving problems all day long. Uh, why is the problem here? Why don't have you... What? Oh, the actual worker problem's going away a little bit. I think there's just not enough demand for... Uh, workers right well for work right now so you know I'll just keep adding condos and shit uh, you have a South Beach condo there are gonna be thousands and thousands of <clears throat> there are gonna be hundreds of Cuban missile subs on the <clears throat> on the beach of Miami if we don't turn in these codes Oh god, just what just what Miami just what Miami needs. More Cubans. Okay, I totally screwed that up, but still. Don't tell me the slope is too steep. It's a pipe. That's not even a s Oh, you mean that This is ocean! How could it possibly be too steep? Last place I wanna yeah. Water. Oh, maybe this place could benefit from a park. That's probably actually partly to do with it. I mean, smarter, like, more educated people will work there if there's, like, parks and shit around. So the solution is either put more parks down or don't educate people. I'm a big advocate of don't educate people. <laughs> I mean, that's just cheaper on two fronts. You don't have to pay them as much. You don't have to pay to educate them. And you don't have to uh, put parks everywhere. I mean, it's just maths. This is working quite nicely. And a few people are using this. That's good. And it looks like this is flashing out quite nicely. And this probably needs a lot of parks. Okay, let's put put a few uh, little uh, little parks in. Put a little playground here. Put a bigger, not that big, this one. <laughs> put this in here. Be real nice. Put ooh, maybe put a little plaza in. Just kind of like a little, uh, little, uh, little, little plaza. A little bit of that. Maybe a Japanese garden. Just make it the up and coming place, you know. Put a little park in here. Haven't gone park crazy in a while, so delete those buildings. Put a park in. What you want? More parks, more money. Ish. I don't think it directly translates, but 
There's a park there. Be happy. Work there now. <laughs> or I'm taking your schools away. Problem? There aren't enough customers. But there's so much demand. Oh, wow, yeah. It's, oh, no. It's actually going out that's more stress than coming in. So I haven't caused too much stress with these new shops and these... Oh, yeah, this is going to be problematic. Like, a lot of people are going to want to come here now, aren't they? A lot of junctions as well. Didn't really think of that, that they're all going to be using this road that is so not made for any traffic at all. I mean, it's covered in junctions and it's small. But it's actually not that bad right now. Yeah, I might have to increase the width of these. I don't want to, like, change these roads because I really like how these roads look. But maybe this one and this one. I don't know, we'll see. And I can limit where the heavy goods vehicles go. Because this is... A box truck. Yeah, so I could actually direct a lot of the traffic around. Okay, yeah, I'm actually going to do that now. Um, I'm going to show you how to direct traffic. Something I haven't really done in, like, 30 episodes. Because it only comes up very occasionally. But someone actually asked me last episode, can I direct traffic? And you actually can. Um, no, shit, I actually need to very carefully district this one road. But you can only tell... The only dire tra traffic direction powers you have is telling um, industrial trucks where not to go. Oh, shit, and I can't use this road for that. Okay, fine. But this road I can use. Uh, okay, right, I'm going to have to kind of hack this out. Uh, because it has to be districted, and I only want to district this one road. Because this is the... because then heavy goods vehicles won't come on this. Annoyingly, um, I would like to include this in that, but um, I can't because... Uh, because the, because the truck's going to have to come off here and down there, so... Well, you know... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, I fucked this up really. Okay, right. Well, anyway, now I'm going to... And I'm actually going to... Oh, fuck you. Okay, actually, that's fine now. Okay, right, and this little tiny road that is a district... Uh, we'll have the rule that no heavy goods vehicles. Um, I'm also actually going to give free public transport from now on because I've just realized that I get way more people on a heavy traffic ban. This uh, ban heavy traffic on an area, make sure there are optional routes available because business... No heavy transport uh, does not affect highways. Okay. Yeah, well, all right. That is just there though, right? That is just Lynch Park. Lynch Park. Jesus Christ, what kind of a name is that for a... <laughs> Lynch Park. Oh, fuck. I've all... Oh, fuck this up again. Like, the place is called Lynch Park. Alright. Jesus. Anyway... Right, that'll direct heavy goods vehicles down there, which is good. You will got to want to direct traffic around. Oh yeah, and uh, free public transport. That'll also help uh, take. Ooh, that's not the right button. Uh, hopefully, that'll take some uh, uh, like stuff off the uh, yeah, like some stress off traffic and shit. More people will use it because right now uh, transport only four thousand people are using my metros and like oh fourteen hundred people are using my buses, which is pretty good. Um, what's that other form of transport that no one's using? I assume... Oh, that's not the right one. Uh, oh, train. I don't actually have a commercial train into here. Didn't think of that. Maybe I should build one. Oh, uh, what's the problem? Not enough goods to sell. That is surprising. I have a huge industry. Still no one working here, so that's still problematic. More people working here, only a few... Oh, it's because the buildings are getting deleted. Shit. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this as well. I didn't phase it in slowly enough. I was too aggressive when I built all of my industry because... Well, that's just me. God damn. Alright, uh, commercial train real quick? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, where would I put it though? I mean, I got like five minutes before I should probably end this episode. 
Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, where's gonna be? You know what, actually probably here would be a good place for the train station, because that's like right at the arse of the city. Wow. Pretty busy here. I never look at this bit of traffic now because it's all just this bit. How is this bit doing, by the way? Probably really bad. How's the underground road doing, do you suppose? Very busy. Not actually as bad as I thought it would be, but pretty busy. Like, he is pretty bad, but... <laughs> I wonder if I have an underground roundabout. Like, I could obviously build one, but... Ooh. Yeah, I was thinking of actually putting the whole highway underground. I mean, I know I just keep picking these ridiculous projects. Oh, cool, this has started working. I love it. Just a little bit of uh, shopping in between this roundabout. I mean, it's good when you come in, you see the shops, free advertising. Anyway, let's put this train down before I forget. <laughs> or before I run out of time just looking at things that make me happy. Uh, train station! Must be placed by a roadside. Alright, we'll uh, actually build the road, I guess. Okay, uh, I guess I'll curve it around a little. Oh, actually, no, I can just have it straight because that's that's not actually being used. We have to drive right past the crematorium. Real nice. Okay, hopefully this won't be too busy. Um, but I can obviously change things if it is. And I'll obviously need a train track. Oh, shit. I'll, uh, I'll just take it off like this, as like gently as possible. Oh, okay, apparently I can't take it off that gently, but who cares? And then have it straight, because it's a freaking train track. You don't want curved train tracks. Small train bridge. There we go. Gonna be really nice. Really nice little uh, train thing. It's a pretty nice city, actually. I do like how a lot of this has turned out. It's quite a nice game to just iterate with, just to like slowly make these roads better and slowly make things more efficient. And that appeals to my uh, programming nature. So, that's good. Ooh, people actually want more houses. Well, you're gonna have to move into these houses. Or you're getting no more. No, I will put some more high density in. Because. Gotta get people in. I should probably, probably figure out how to get people to live over here. That'd be the next task, really. I mean, just, yeah. Uh, there we go, more industry. Industry! And they're cutting down trees, so it's Indus tree. <laughs> okay, let's just put this here so that, like, if there's a fire along here, it can just, you know, go get it. Oh, this has gone very nicely. I've enjoyed this episode. This has been really fun. I actually really like this new road plan. A little shitty here, but still, it's a pretty good system, I think. I mean, one day we'll get people working here. Like, fully. It's slowly getting better, but it's a bit of a struggle. And the same with down here. Uh, and one day I'll put all my roads just on water. Just all of them on water. Ah, no heavy goods vehicles here. They're all just here. My new shopping district. I've figured it all out. I've figured out how to do everything. I am the perfect human. I will see you next time. Oh, Vernimore Prawn, putting Nazis on the former, and former Nazis on the government payroll. You sneaky bastard. Yeah! Oh cool, I can just rock it at will and go nuts. <laughs> Whose tag is that? <laughs> oh god! Hey Tank. <laughs>